All right, so it's 7.09 p.m. I went to bed 12 hours and five minutes ago. Um, I have not eaten breakfast yet, so I'm gonna have breakfast at 7 p.m. Gonna get myself some uh, some Frosty Flakes, um, which it looks like we're magically out of. There was about a half, ooh, boom. There it is. All right, breakfast time. In the last, I got up at about 3.30, 3 o'clock, which is uh, four hours. So in the four hours that I've been up, um, I have been sitting at my desk the entire time doing emails. I did three, I, uh, working on my watch letter playlist, I got it down from 18 to nine. So I'm halfway done with that, but I've done the short videos, all the five minute ones. I have some in there that are an hour and 20 minutes long, so I've got about three to four more hours of that ahead of me tonight. Um, what else have I been doing? I got the emails done. I got the vlog up from yesterday. I did two E39 source videos. Those are up and scheduled to be published. Uh, one is already published and one will be published later. I am syncing this in Mavericks, which means it has to totally rebuild my photo cache database of 12,185 photos. It's on photo 4175 right now, so that's working. Working with Bobby, tried, uh, we're gonna get try to work with CS6 some more, see if we can do that. Um, my Time Machine backup decided it needed to back up 396 gigs and didn't have any space for that, so I formatted the Time Machine drive. We're going to start over. It then found 401 gigabytes of data that needed to be backed up. It wants 10 hours to do that. I cannot let this computer sit here for 10 hours. That'll put me uh, at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, and I, I mean, I'm going to be wide awake at 3 or 4 o'clock in the morning, but I need to be in bed because I have a 9 o'clock class tomorrow, which I'm hoping I can, I can still make. Um, so I'm gonna have to go for a while without backups until I can find 10 hours to plug my Mac into this two terabyte drive and let it back up 400 gigs. I don't know why it's so slow. That's a 10,000 RPM hard drive that should write at least 100 megs per second using Thunderbolt's not plugged in, Firewire 800. That's 800 megs per second. So my bottleneck's the drive write speed at 100. So why is it writing, I figured it out, about nine megs per second to do 401 gigs in four hours. 10 hours, I'm sorry. It sucks. I'm gonna eat breakfast and continue working. Yeah, it's booked. You probably just got a, a confirmation email, so take a look at that. All right, all right, have fun. Bye. <coughs> the internet and communications. I, he's getting on it, he just stood, are you, are you, are you recording? Mm -hmm. Oh nice, hi. Hello, everybody. Yeah, so my dad just, he's in LAX. He missed his flight yesterday morning that was supposed to go to Dulles. So he flew to Charlotte and then Charlotte to Los Angeles. So he's in LA living in San Diego. So he's got to go down south. Um, standing in the airport and he's like, I need a way to get there. So I just look at this. Here's Hotwire. We just got a car, a Chevy Aveo that's going to go down to, uh, he's going to pick it up at LAX at nine. And he just got on the Alamo bus and I set it up from here in Ohio. That's awesome. 3,000 miles away and I got him a car. All right, good morning. It's 2.09. I've spent the last two hours and nine minutes, now 10 minutes, 2.10. Spent the last two hours and 10 minutes doing the car, usual. Actually, a little more than usual. I did everything, wheels, brakes, or wheels, tires, exhaust, body, glass, floor mats, top the oil off. Also, I noticed when I got the car back, this thing right here, this is the lock obviously for the trunk, and then there's this little rubber seal around it, and he did not reinstall that correctly. It was sticking out so far, I could like get my fingernail in there really easily and peel it out. So, um, it's locked right now, I do have the key. I took down the black piece of plastic trim again because I still have sand coming out of here. In fact, you can see some sparkly stuff on the mat in there, right there and there. Um, and this is the uh, thing that so if you take that down with two bolts and then i flip he had the gasket in backwards so i flipped the gasket around forwards and then reinstalled it and now i'm happy with that so i got that fixed which is good we also learned i've been on the phone with colt for the last two hours we learned how the um the door seal on the body comes off um and i care about that because my driver's one was replaced a couple years ago so it's okay it's not bad this seal here can you see that, or am I standing in the light? That was worse. It's broken open. 
so it needs to be replaced. Well, we found out that it comes down something that's really hard to do with one hand because it's really tight. It just pulls down. You get your finger under this lip inside and then you pull here and it comes down. The hardest part is you got to pull the door sill out and uh, it meets right there. And then you got to work the new one in all the way around. So I just looked the part up and it's like 60 bucks or so, 55 from ECS tuning. So next time I have money, I just don't know what to do with. I'll be able to buy that and fix that. And that's been one of those things that's been wrong with the car since I've had it. So we're making progress and we're fixing all these dumb little things. The blower motor and the FSU are going to be done. That, that mirror is going to be done. The parking brake is half done. So we're doing a lot of progress here in the fall. Anyways, though, it's 2.12 now. So I'm going to go up and get my shower and go to bed and get up and six hours for class. So talk to you guys tomorrow.